guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Isu. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing Jancy's lens. What is Jancy's lens, by the way? What is it? Well, we're gonna be talking about this in just a few minutes. But first of all, make sure to watch this video till the end. Jancy's lens are the ones used by a lot of people on social media, on TikTok, on YouTube, on Twitter, or Instagram. So you might want to know it. Okay guys, let's go and find out more about Jancy's lens. Jancy stands for Generation Z or Zoomer. One research defines Jancy as anyone born between 1997 and 2012. So when you want to sound and speak Jancy English, you guys can use the words that I'm about to share in this video. And when somebody is using all these words, if you can understand that, you won't get confused, right? Do you think you are cool or chuggy? What is chuggy? So the first one is chuggy. It is used to refer to things which are out of style. The things which are uncool and trying too hard to be in style. Do you have any friends who are chuggy? You are chuggy. When someone say like this, well it's not very good. Don't take this as a compliment because this is not a compliment. They are saying that you are uncool. Number two, drip. Well, drip used to be the slang refers to the things which are like and cool and attractive. And you can also use this to refer to the things which are unattractive, colorless. But now, if someone mentions you or if you mention to somebody as drip, it's actually a good thing. Drip refers to your style or look, particularly when it is considered fashionable. It is actually a compliment. You are a god. What is it? God. It stands for greatest of all time. On social media, you will see people referring to the celebrities like maybe a footballer as god. You are a god. It means they're the greatest of all time. He is a god. You can say she is a god or he is a god. The next word really slats. So this one, slats. What does it mean? Well, it is used to describe the things which are amazing and excellent. You can use this one to refer to the things like music and songs that you like. For example, this song really slaps. Do you have a song that you think is slaps? The next one is very common and you will see this on social media a lot. This is no cap. What does it mean? Well, it is similar to I'm serious for sure or no line. You might have seen this a lot of time, right? No cap. If something is really good, you might describe it as buzzing. Buzzing. One younger generation used this term for everything from a good music to a great outfit. Well, buzzing is usually used to describe the things like food. When something is delicious, you can say, wow, this food is buzzing, or this is buzzing, I love it, I love this food very much, it's buzzing. Say less, well, for some people, it might sound rude, it is similar to, I get a plate, it is like the request to stop talking, say less. I get a point. I don't need any more details. I get a point. Say less. This one is understood the assignment. You might have seen this on social media a lot. It is commonly used, right? So when you say she understood the assignment or he understood the assignment, it means someone is successful or kneeled at something that they needed to do. You might see the tweets about actors understood the assignment and were really suited with the role they are playing. Main character. Main character for Gen Z generated from TikTok. I could say I'm the main character in this video. Main character can be also used to refer to somebody who is the subject of viral outrage on social media. For example, I tag TikTok to see who the main character is today. Maybe you want to know who is like being popular and who is the main character on TikTok, right? Slay. What is slay? You slayed it. Wow, 
you slayed it girl it means do really well if someone did dancing or in doing something else like maybe a magic trick you can say wow she really slayed it she slayed it she did really well amazing you slayed it girl the next one is snack oh i know this one snack is like the food that we eat like crisps we can refer to this as snack right of course but this one snack is used to describe a person like a person who looks attractive or who looks good when you say like he's a total snack it means he is really handsome like he looks good when someone refers to you as snack it doesn't have to do with food or something that we can eat it means you are attractive or look cool oh i spell some tea so the next one is spell the tea what is it spell the tea what does it mean it means to gossip maybe somebody is talking about your friend you can say he or she is spelling the tea they're talking about your friend sometimes your friends might talk about you they're gossiping about you it's not good to spell the t about you when you're very close with somebody when you're like spelling the t talking something bad about you behind your back you know it is hard to feel have you ever spelled the t about your friends or about somebody spell the t that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching this video if you want me to make more video like this one please let me know in the comment section and i hope you guys enjoy watching this video please make sure to share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel and like this video bye